guys. So we just got done doing some incline press. I did uh, three work sets, and then I did a drop set on my last one, and uh, just to get the blood going. This is definitely an exercise with the incline press that I was trying to do over the off season. The past two off seasons really to work my upper chest. That's something that the judges really wanted me to work on. So um, as you can tell, it's, you know, it's, it's getting there. But uh, next we're gonna do this machine right here. Um, normally a lot of guys don't like using machines when they get ready for a show, but I tend to stay away from a lot of flat presses. And uh, during my off season I do like a flat dumbbell press, but when I get ready for a show, I'm doing more incline presses than anything. And, and this push press right here has worked really good. So for all those people that think that can't build anything off of a few machines, I think you're dead wrong, man. doing some push pressures on the Nautilus bench and uh, now got another machine we're gonna do same maker just a different movement we're gonna do some more incline um, before I'm Smith we're going a little bit wide now this machine actually starts wide but comes in so normally I do some incline flies but this is kind of kind of gonna substitute that for today and uh, Incline, like I said before, incline is definitely an exercise that I've been trying to do over the past couple of years, trying to figure this out, this whole bodybuilding thing out, but primarily just the upper chest area. So we're going to hit this up for four sets, 10, 12 reps. Then we're going to do some tables, and then uh, that'll wrap it up. Two. I just had to say this real quick for all you guys that have seen Jay Cutler pose, do a guest posing. Here's the song that he uses. <laughs> nah, Jay's my guy, man. But I just remember the first time when I saw him guest pose back in 03, he was he was using this song. So ever since then I've been like, oh this is Jay. <laughs> Are you saying he still uses this song? No, absolutely, absolutely not, because I pretty much damn near have it memorized what he uses. But uh, no, he don't use this, but I'm sure a lot of people have seen him guest pose and he, he likes using like some Lincoln Park and stuff. I think that's what they did. this is. Are you getting music? You got your routine music all picked out? Uh, I just picked it out today, this morning. Went on, I'm not going to throw any shameless plugs to iTunes or anything, but I went online and grabbed some stuff. Um, I can pretty much tell you this, I ain't going to put you to sleep. You know, in the past, a lot of the time I stuck with more R&B and classical music. It's still gonna have some of that in there, but bigger now, man. I gotta, I gotta do something different, man. So, yeah, try to mix it up a little bit. Try to give the fans something different, you know. Especially with it being my first time on the West Coast, you know, competing. I'm sure they want to hear something different too. And with the Arnold as well, probably, you know, who knows if I'm gonna do the same routine or not. But it's gonna be something, a mixture, something new. Am I gonna do what? Man, I can't. No. I can't, I can't do none of that. That's all Melvin. Melvin, you the man. You can do all that stuff. You know, the whole Matrix thing and all that stuff. I can't do none of that, man. I'm just going to try to look good, you know, come in nice and sharp and have somewhat of a classical physique and hit some old classical shots and some Lee Labrada, some Lee Haney shots. So that's oh, my biggest thing. So you're going to do what Gustavo did? Absolutely not. I'm Gustavo Gustavo. The gift is the gift, baby. So it's a totally different package, totally different presentation. So all the best to all those guys. They, they bring a tremendous, you know, physique to the contest. Great posing routines. They all, you know, work really hard. But for me, it's going to be a... I, I, I'm excited. I'm going to do something different for you guys, hopefully. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm actually going to put in some time for it.
All right, guys, we just finished up chest. First, we did some incline presses on Smith. Next, we did some push presses. Then we did some more incline on a Nautilus. And then we finished up with some cable crossovers. Uh, right now, I'm sitting around the same weight as last week. <laughs> I know we had an online giveaway uh, for my DVD, The Gift of the New Beginning. And I do appreciate all the fans that, uh, that chimed in online on Flex Online. And uh, we might do it again, so just stay tuned with that. But my weight hasn't really changed a whole lot, but my conditioning has. So, you know, normally you only lose about maybe a pound or two here and there. But normally around this time of day, I'm at my peak. So usually around like this, still the low 240s. But um, right now we're really focusing on trying to stay tight and uh, get to tighten up the glutes and the hamstrings and the calves, of course. We all like to know that Bill's got some calves. And, you know, some of the other brothers don't. So uh, we, yeah. we're still training those. Are they full simple? Absolutely not. I guess that's my new phrase, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not, I don't have. I have never done, no. But um, no, in all honesty, I just want to say thanks to all the people that have been participating on Flex Online, the forums. And we definitely plan on having more threads up, more gossip and opinions and stuff. And, and I'm going to be on there probably this week also. You know, hitting, hitting you guys up back and forth with some with some gossip and where I'm at, how I'm feeling. Uh, right now, I'm feeling pretty good. My carbs are pretty decent right now, They're about 100, 150 right now. And uh, I'm gonna go home after I get done posing here and have a have a, have a few more meals, about two, three more meals in, and then go do some late night cardio, call it a night, and get ready for back tomorrow. Now, I know you guys were a little upset last week about me not hitting up the back shots, but hey, man. It's only 19 days away, so you guys can check it out on Full Body Building Weekly. They have a direct link that's going to be posted on Flex Online for sure, where you can view me and the rest of the guys at the Ironman Pro and also at the Arnold Classic, so stay tuned. So, uh, last thing, Phil, what do you think about the, some of the comments that you got on Flex Online from Big J, Ronnie, and some of the others? Oh, well, first of all, I want to thank all of them for participating in that. Alan Donnelly did an awesome job of grabbing those guys because those are all people that I respect highly in this industry. Um, first of all, Jay, you're my guy. I know it's really hard for people to understand like our friendship, but he's always pretty biased. And ever since I met him, and, and pretty much I think, I believe it was uh, April of 05, before I won the Junior National in the USA, he told me one major thing, that I'm going to be somebody in the sport, and he's never steered me wrong. Secondly, Ronnie. Man, you really, you really like touched me on that one, man. Like I, I've always been a fan of yours and still am. I waited three and a half hours for your autograph when you came out here in Denver. You probably don't even remember it, but you know those words mean a lot. And same with the judges, Lee Thompson, Jim Raquel, you know, and even Dan Solomon. You guys all great contributions, and I and I really appreciate it. Just know that it's not going up to my head or anything like that, but it's, it's just gonna, you know, make me strike for bigger and better things for the years to come so I do appreciate you guys honest opinion because you guys are all straight shooters in this industry and I think everybody knows that so just realize that you know I'm gonna you know take that all with me to these next two shows and onward to the Olympia and for the rest of my career I'm gonna be working my butt off to make you guys not look like liars and say that I was gonna be the next best thing so thank you so take that